on ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. Hopefully you guys at home are having a fan Fantastic day. Before we jump into it, I guess a huge shout out to Noom for sponsoring today's video. You guys know I recently told you about Noom, but now that we are into January, there is no better time than right now to set your long-term goal. Noom helps you make sustainable changes instead of making a quick New Year's resolution that we all know will not last. Noom leverages a powerful combination of human coaches, psychology, and science to empower people to take control of their own health. On Noom, you can log your meals, track your water intake, your exercise, find recipes, and much more. On Noom, you get paired with a goal specialist that's trained in psychology, fitness, and nutrition. I personally really want to learn more about that, but I don't have the time. So having a coach makes it super efficient and helpful to get information without me having to do hardcore research. You can also educate yourself with daily lessons. It only takes a couple minutes and it's super accessible with Noom. This is an example of a lesson called Unprocess Your Diet. Start building better habits for healthier long-term results. You can sign up for your trial at Noom.com slash flare. That is N-O-O-M dot com slash flare. Or you can just click the link down in the description down below. It'll be right at the top down in the description down below. You go ahead and click it and check it out. Huge shout out to Noom for sponsoring today's videos. Brands like them that I partner up with that allow me to do I do every single day. Which make videos for you guys at home to enjoy. So with that being said, enjoy the rest of today's video. What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another episode. Well, it actually snowed here at the ranch more than my house. Um, we've got lots of snow, and we've got special guest, Trapper Jay. How are you feeling about it? You feeling good about it? How does it feel to trap an area... I would call it like a an area that's never been trapped. Like this place hadn't been trapped for years, and I've seen. I mean, I get pictures of coyotes on trail cameras every single day, without fail. I mean, I'm seeing. Trapped is your is your confidence is your confidence pretty high? Because my confidence is high for you. Well, you feeling good all about the pictures it? Pictures you've sent me, I'm pretty excited. And I've sent you maybe like two percent of the photo. Like literally every single day, I get photos of coyotes, and there's bobcats. Actually, a massive. I should show you a massive bobcat was right there sniffing the old gut pile. Massive, like all. All spotted up but you said there was tracks around the decoy decoy surrounded so by tracks we've That's got right. a uh, a bow target a archery bow target uh it well, was a buck now it's a doe because i think the antlers got yeeted trap jay got here before me oh look at right there boom the old guy, <laughs> we don't even gotta go anywhere We're just trap around the cabin there's so many coyotes out here and it's crazy and part of you know managing the ranch you guys know is predator control making sure that we've got flourishing populations of everything oh my gosh you're right Basically, if you have a dog here and you're staying here, yeah. you'd have to be worried about your dog. Yeah. The cabin's right there. Yeah, the cat, like, boom, literally right there. It circled the decoy, Jake. What? The, a coyote. Really? Yeah. A lot. Like, a lot. Like, he, he was like, all right, how's it going? I got a video. I don't think I showed it to you. I posted on Uncut. There was, I had three bucks in a food plot eating, which is weird, all together. And a coyote was, like, with them, wandering. And they just, like, looked at it, and he just took off. It was weird, like, seeing, like, them interact together. But isn't that crazy? Oh, yeah. <laughs> all the tracks, like, <laughs> you come around, he's like, I'm not sure about this. I'm not... Or, <laughs> No, I'm not sure about this guy. He wasn't too sure about it, but obviously he figured out it was a decoy. But the coyotes are, they're so thick out here. And this isn't even, I mean, clearly this is not where you would think coyotes would even really be. This isn't uh, the thick of it. So we are going to be trapping today. Now, I will go ahead and say it's like four degrees outside. Not super warm. I think when I got up this morning, it was like negative four. Like that's like actual temperature, not like the feel, like the actual temperature. So I'm not sure how footholds are going to go. This is either going to be... We're either going to be able to get through the ground or it's going to be an iceberg. <laughs> it's going to be, yeah. You got snares though, which is good. I got wax sand, so we won't worry about freezing. Oh, that's good. So you got the wax sand, not wax dirt, difference? Different. Sand. Diff it's different, huh? It's a lot cheaper to make. Oh, okay. So we'll talk about that later, but <laughs> essentially he makes his own sand and it can't freeze. You know, dirt, unless it's super, super, super dry dirt, is going to have some moisture in it. And when it's this cold, it's going to freeze, which is why, you know, the ground freeze. We got the mule ready. I got to get some gloves on before my fingers fall off. This is crazy how cold it is out here. But trapping all day today, we're setting traps, we're running a huge trap line. And then tomorrow we will come check them. And I'm feeling pretty optimistic. We're gonna get them. I didn't set any coyote traps prior to uh, today. We set some raccoon traps you guys saw. But Trapper Jay is the trapping guy. He's the guy you wanna call to get your coyotes, your bobcats, and your raccoons taken out. And I've got a feeling we're gonna trap a little bit of everything. So with that being said, you guys stay tuned. Shoo! 
Well, all right, we made it to the first spot. We gave Trapper Jay the old grand tour. And I'll tell you one thing, there is not a shortage of coyotes on this property. I'm um, looking at these tracks now, which these are deer, but it's like insane. I mean, we saw hundreds of trails and ravines and track, like, it's great. There's a lot. If you were to take a guess, Trapper Jay, how many coyotes do you think live on the ranch? Since it's only been a couple days worth of snow. Yeah, I mean, we've had snow for two days now, and we're seeing a crazy amount. There's a lot of coyotes based on the tracks I'm seeing. You think there's 100 plus? I, I don't know. I've never been somewhere with that many coyotes. Oh, well, I guess we'll find <laughs> out. I, there's a lot. That's all I know. All right, so we need to go. Yeah, keep going straight. Pretty sure that's where the... Pretty, oh, this way? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Say, there's a pretty good trail here. Yeah, yeah, keep going this way. And this isn't... This is more of the difficult areas to trap. Squirrel. So that's around. what Bobcat would do. Oh, really? Okay. So this is kind of the... We're starting the thick stuff, working our way to the easier stuff, just trying to get a gauge on what, what we want to tackle. But this is where I sent you the, the pictures of the coyotes. It was right in here. Yeah, because this is here's the camera right here. It was shooting oh. this way. They run this all the time. I mean, it looks like just is it just deer so far? Oh no, there's coyote. Yeah, there's coyote right here. They walk this. That's like it's almost perfect. Besides the fact that it's like eight degrees outside, having like two inches of snow for just a couple of days, so you know exactly where they've been in the last couple of days. I feel like it's like a cheat code to to trapping. Well, I'd say the opportunities for traps are. I would say pretty much endless. You could spend, you could spend a lot of time setting traps out here and probably not trap the same area twice. So anyways, we kind of went around a little bit, kind of got an idea. I think this is, like I said, probably the thickest, not the thickest area we'll trap, but we're kind of away from the mule where I have to hike it in and whatnot. The rest of it was honestly pretty right off, right off the path, super easy trapping. So anyways, let's go ahead and get some traps. What are we starting with? So we'll just get some snares. Let's get some snares. So stay tuned. You just yell at me and tell me what to do. I'm basically just gonna take this bucket. Okay. Mm -hmm. So just snaring. Yeah. I like that. That's easy. The other thing about snares, you don't even gotta bait them. Like it's the simplest form of trapping. I feel like you don't have to bait them. You don't have to dig yeah. a hole. You don't have to cover or nothing. They're you just... always working unless you get like a, some crazy weird ice storm. But usually they still yeah will catch. And they just stay. But they're blind trails and you got to have the animals come in the right spot. True. It's nice because we got snow. If we didn't have snow, honestly, it would be tough. I wouldn't you, say we wouldn't get them, but it's it'd be tough. You just set every trail you come to and yeah. wait until and they finally catch. Basically set these suckers out and then, and the best part is we need to reset them because they get, I used to have mine knocked down by deer all the time. They just literally just knock them over. You just inside you'll see they're easy but this is efficient trapping okay. thing and start over here through that way at least one there and one up in there and one over there for now and i haven't went any how many, how many snares you bring a lot so i got Let's cable see. restraints I already have okay my, so the, the difference for those of you that don't know cable restraints don't kill the animal and there's some states you can't use snares that kill you have to use cable restraints, which basically just pinches it around their neck. It's like wearing a tight dog collar that you can't get they, out. They have a relaxing lock. Yeah. And snares will go down and stay down. So we're and we're laying just snares. I have cable restraints. So oh, okay. A little bit angles. Above. But snares, you got to be careful. Like I had Millie getting a snare twice. A snare or cable restraint? Uh, it would have been a snare. Um, yeah, it would have been. See, yeah. stays. Oh. And that's. Whatever tension you put on there, it stays. It, it just it just stays. And when I get to the cable restraint, I'll show you that it doesn't do that. But then you've got to stop. I mean, what's this? What's this, the stop? Do? This deer stop? Yeah. That's a deer stop. What's that do? That's so when you catch them by a hoof, they say they put their front foot through the yep. loop, they can get out. So you, it, that way it doesn't cinch the, and they're not just like doing one of these things. So you put yeah. a stop on there. You can make them, or you can buy them made. I always just bought them made. I'm guessing you've probably made them before. I have. Yeah. I just buy them, but. This is a breakaway right here, and they're usually about 250 pounds. So if you do get a deer, he can break that, and he's, he's gone. Got it. Uh, so coyotes can't, but deer can. That straightens out and opens the loop. So it basically looks like this. This is straight. Where's your trapping snares 101? Someone's, def oh, Someone's definitely going to die. It'd be one with a coyote. The coyote took a pee right here. Really? Yeah, look at this right here. I mean, I assume that's fairly fresh. That's what we're after. Right there. We're on the other side of the fence now. We just went, went across. Setting on the, the hole there first. So, yep. see there's a log. This is what they used to have. I mean, obviously they got some good rains because I'm guessing that's what blew all this out. But essentially this fence covered this ravine back when it was actually a high fence. But there's a gap here 
below the log that they're just going under. So you just secured some wire and that's basically what we're gonna anchor to. So there's, sometimes you have earth anchors. So if you're just like doing it, there's no trees or nothing to tie to. You, we'll, we'll show you that. I'm sure we'll get, a, we'll get one of those at some point. But right now just wiring to the fence, something that won't come undone. And then hanging the snare from that. And basically you have the opening of the snare right where the hole is. So they basically put their head down, they walk through. When their bottom of their neck touches the snare, it just cinches right down. They back out, game over. My snare to that. That ain't pulls, going anywhere. If he pulls that off, we had a big one. We had a big one. It's like fish breaking your line. <laughs> it breaks out and obviously it's a big one. Just set, set the trails. As there it long is. As uh... You wouldn't even know if you glance at that. Look at that. You wouldn't even know there's a snare with all, especially with all the other wire hanging down. Yeah, it just looks like, like part of the fence. They're not gonna. They ain't gonna see that. Yeah. They don't see it anyway. So normally they travel at night, and so they don't have you know great eyesight enough to see something like this. But all right, one down. What are you right. thinking now? And then I saved some wire for my support to support my cable. So they went between this right here. I kind of tore up the, the ground, but I seen where they went right between that. So that fences them down a long ways already. Shoo, three down. You see how quick it goes, ladies and gentlemen. It's like it's like the dog proof version of coyote trapping in my opinion. Do you ever snare bobcats? I've never done it. They're, well, they're, they're pretty finicky. They're because pretty because smart, right? They will fill the loop and then they go and then around. they get out yeah so but like you know you can catch coyotes a different bunch of different ways but this would be like the same thing as like if you're trying to catch raccoons and you're using like a, a normal foothold instead of like a dog proof it's just it's easier so i definitely think one there because that that's trail's pretty solid do you think we should do one on these that yeah. one and maybe there's one right there maybe there's one, one right two there. three so three more so that'd be six at least here and then up the creek you think looks like they're turning and going up that creek too one there, one there, and then yep. one up in that little hole up there. Perfect. All right, well, yeah. let's get set. So we're doing a, this is an earth anchor. So this is what it looks like, in case you guys are new. That's the end of it. And then there's a special bar that you've got that fits in that. And then you just drive that in the ground. Maybe. Sometimes <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Maybe drive it in the ground. So what happens, you drive that thing down and when a coyote pulls on it, it basically takes that little piece of metal. It's like setting hook on a fish. So it was like that. Yep, so it, it flies out. So it, it was like this, it goes down, bends back. So pulling that against all the dirt and the snow and everything is tough. So yeah, you're right, I take the back. You, you said it yourselves, but when the coyote pulls on it, there's really no give, except we can you know usually pick it up and, and drag it. Except sometimes it freezes. And I've, I've had to use the winch on my ATV before. Sometimes it's hard to get out. Sometimes it's pretty tough to get out, but if you bury it deep enough, the coyote should not be able to get out. So just wanna show you the difference between just hanging it on some limbs like we did versus that's how I've done like honestly 100% of mine. I don't think I've ever tied them up to anything. I always earth anchor them and then I've got a piece of so is that is that what you're doing with that wire? Yep. Is that gonna be your hanger? Yeah I'm going to probably take this guy. Okay. Shove him in that hole I just made. Yep. And then run the wire off of that. We'll come off of that. So I, you can buy pieces of metal stakes that have the wire already coming off. It's just more expensive. You know, you can use what you have around you, like Trapper J is, where you literally use a stick, or you can buy stakes that have the wire coming out and make it a little bit easier. So you could actually run this clear down into the ground. Really? And do it like that. Got it. A lot of guys take it like this. Okay. Pound their driver in so that then they stick that in a hole and then it doesn't it doesn't pivot or anything. Got it. So that's just your hanger. That's what the basically will hold the snare up up, up off the ground essentially. And you're yep. using that stick as your your stake. Wrap it around a couple times and then you'll you'll see we'll we'll basically put the, the snare. You'll put the snare on top of the wire and you, it'll hang it up. So anyway, it's just showing you guys a couple different ways. So that way, if you guys are wanting to get into trapping or whatnot, if you're actually if you want to get into trapping, that's the guy to watch. This guy Trapper Jay. He actually has a channel and he catches a lot of things and does it well how many how what have you caught this year give me the give me the rundown you keep uh, track otter a couple of bobcats yeah i'm only at 28 coyotes oh, <laughs> but he says but he says only as if i've tracked I, more than two in my life somewhere 28. 70 muskrats whoa <laughs> big muskrat guy sheesh so quite a few and how many bobcats 
two so far. Two bobcats. So maybe we'll maybe we'll get some more today. But yeah, you've you've trapped your fair amount I've of a critters. Of Cu those. Couple months. All right. So what's next? Okay, I can't have entanglement, but you can saw off stuff. Okay. And that's why I do this. Yeah. I would cut that limb off and make it look like it was supposed to be there. Okay. I would usually put one over here another yep. tree. Got it. I just wanted to show that. Okay. If, but we already have a perfect funnel. Yeah. So if you needed to make the funnel tighter, you could do it without entanglement. So you need, what he's talking about is you need to go look up your entanglement laws depending on the state that you're in. Some states you can't have any entanglement. Some states you can. So if you if you're in a state that doesn't allow entanglement, that's one way you can choke down your pinch point for a better catch ratio, essentially. So all right. So now you got the wire dangling. Put it on this little. I don't know what that's called. A little collar here. A little plastic. It's a little. It's a plastic tube, isn't it? Yeah, it's a little stiff from the, being cold, but. Now we basically just want to get it around 12 inches, but I just go pinky to the top of my thumb. So I just want to go up a little bit. Pretty good. That's it. If it was going to be a bunch of snow and you knew it, you would raise it higher. Okay, to, to factor that in. Yeah. So it, it's, it stays 12 inches off the ground. Coyote's going to either come from there or hopefully come from the top and go down and use gravity to kind of help. Because once, if the coyote hits that and he's going downhill, he's he's done for. And yeah, and you can brush it in, camouflage it like that. So if you need to use an earth anchor, that's how you do it. You drive it down. You can use a stick and look at that. You wouldn't even know it's there. Sheesh. Yeah. Sometimes they will. Sometimes they'll see it. Smart. And really. And you got to worry about scent on these too still more than you know you can't just oh that's why we wear gloves gloves will always help and stuff like that so snare number four is set and well let's keep rolling Found some bobcat. Kitty cat, meow. Well, we almost made it back to the side by side. Yeah. Look at that. It's good timing. So that's kitty cat. What's the difference? Uh, we'd have to go find a coyote one, but the cats are almost a perfect circle, uh -huh. and the you can see their four paws right there. Uh -huh. No nails. Yeah. And have to find you a coyote now. Oval, and the, the, all the nails are right here on the front. Ooh. Yeah. 100%. So cats can retract their nails. So if you see claws in the snow, then that's not a bobcat. That would be a coyote. So we got a kitty cat. How many snares do we have to? Seven now, I think. I think we said seven. We said three, three, and then the one. I think we're up to about seven. All the same. We're gonna go get a foothold for this guy. Yeah. All right. Well. What do you think? Now, what are you thinking? Uh, what do you mean? CD or pan? Uh, probably a CD. What do you think? Do you think That'll CD work? would work? Yep. So we're talking about an attracted. Say, I'm out of the loop yeah. So <laughs> at least I'm a literal CD, like a like a oh, DVD, like, for, like a for DVD, you. and it'll you hang it from a tree or wherever, and it'll spin, and it creates a flash, which attracts like a cat. Oh. Like cats are, I mean, bobcats are cats at the end of the day. They you know? say that you could come in here and put a trap right, cut a trap right where that track is. That they'll step right in the same spot every time they what? come. What? But I usually just find the set, the tracks, and I'll set there somewhere. They set they step in the same spot. That's what they say. Real. Okay, well, let's go get some traps and get one set out. Stay tuned. What are you thinking here? You need to hang one you got a new, new, new briefcase. This is your, that's your foothold case. It's got all your lure. You can tell because I can smell it. It smells oh, yeah. like skunks. <sighs> it's got some of that good stuff in there. Filled my bottles before I came. Yeah, he makes his own. Ooh. What, what, what do you put in that? What do you grind up? What, uh, what sick stuff did you do? A muskrat, beaver, and... Do you have like a ninja blender? You just <laughs> like what do you? What's wood chipper? What even wood worse? Chipper? Even worse. You just a wood chipper. Electric one. Oh, what? Electric one. I just drop them in there. <laughs> <laughs> That isn't just taking a muskrat and just <laughs> Big auger guy. She. I've just got the old DeWalt drill with the bit on and I snap it. You're like, hey, it's frozen. I was like, it's frozen. How are we going to set footholds? I Don't worry about it. We're going to see. We're going to see what it thinks. <laughs> oh, that's got it. <laughs> Hey, you got a holder. Okay. 
All right, well, there's your dirt hole. That was not bad at all. That auger made it look like it was summertime. <laughs> so you've got a, you, you got, you got a bucket of sand, dry, dry wax sand, wax sand. So that's something that you make. You put, you, be, you get a concrete mixer, you pro, throw sand in it, then you throw wax flakes, and then you put a torch on the end of it to heat it up. Yep. Sounds like you're making heroin. Yeah, kind of little. Like yeah, a little, a little bit like, uh, what was that show? Breaking, Breaking Bad? Bad? Yeah, it's definitely, yeah. You, you in a trailer too, or? How's that? No, just outside. RV. RV? Oh, yeah. Is that what they are in RV? But that will keep it dry. So that's the stuff you'll see. We'll put it over the top of it, but it has no moisture. So that dirt, you let that sit out now for, you know, the next couple hours, it's going to be rock hard because there's moisture in it. That has no moisture and wax, which wax does not freeze. So, all right, what's next? What are you thinking? That's uh, been outside. That's just been sitting outside like and, it's, and it won't freeze because if it freezes, your trap freezes and then you just wasted your time. So. So now that you've got your, <laughs> now, how, you can see how hard the ground really was. Oh wow, yeah, it's. I mean, it's not soft. It could be worse, I guess. And you put your sand b b beneath it. Okay. Yeah. It's the first year you've been using sand. I've always seen you use dirt. Yep. Is this new? Do you like it better? I was just too lazy. Really? Is it? Does it work any better? Or is it? Oh, a hundred times. Really? Because I'll show you when we go get some water and you pour it on there. It works pretty good. Yeah. I got sets out that I just go, I shovel all the snow off and my trap's still perfect. Really? Sand might be the strat. I've never used sand before. Or wax dirt. So then you've got the same thing, the earth stake. You drive it down in there and you pull and it flips. So if you guys want a closer look at it, this is essentially what it looks like right there. So you drive it down and then it flips out sideways and pulls against the, uh, the dirt there. All right, so that goes straight in. Ground's pretty hard, I'd say, yeah. Yeah. Then you pull it and set it, make sure it's set and don't come loose. And then you got that little hole there and you bury your chain. And then now this is the fun part. You are one brave individual. <laughs> you, uh, that is, yeah, no. Crazy, man. Have you ever tried setting one of those? I kinda wanna see you try to set awesome. one. Just I'll try so, it. They're not, not to see you get, I, I, I want you to feel how much strength it takes to, to push put, it down. That's it. You don't even have to fold it out and set it just to, are you gonna do it? You don't have are to you though. On? You don't, I'm, on? I mean, I'm on. Yeah, yeah. you don't, don't feel, don't feel like you have to though. Oh God. Oh, no. Oh, I got my thumb in there. Oh no. <laughs> Why is he like this? Oh, oh my gosh. So you don't, you don't, don't feel like you have, I don't want you getting no, pinched. Just, just push the levers down at least. Just push the levers Easy, down. Guys. Yeah. Don't you do it like this? Yeah. Oh my Isn't God. Isn't that crazy? So then my fingers hold this down. Oh God. While you, you pull the pan up? Yeah. Please don't get snapped. You just pull this up? Yep. You hook it on that little dog right there. And keep your fingers out of the curve there. <laughs> you are dr I am freaking out right now for you. You're doing good. I mean, no, you are doing better than me. That's for sure. Wise. Oh, there yeah. it is. Oh, I was grabbing the wrong side. Well, you want to do it, for, yeah. But you can also put your knees on them. If you're, if you're, yep. If you put your knee on that, there you go. Now be careful. You got to get it. All right, that's good. Now just let it up slowly. Yeah. Keep your hand out though. You're close enough. <laughs> close enough. <laughs> oh, I, it, oh, it just no, makes you no, pucker. There's one little notch there that I'll, it just I'll, makes set, you, I'll set it on. It makes you pucker. No, I'll, Isn't that just the worst? I hate those things. Out, it, yeah, no, there, I, I do the old, just stick your foot on it, oh, and I stand, I stand on, on so the whole time. So then I, when I when I you have know, to let it go, then I just hand. basically Ooh, step off How do you hold it with one hand? I know, hands, like, I know. trying to hold it open. <laughs> That's what I'm, and then he, 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 he. I, the thing is, it's one of those things, until it happens, you're like, it's not that big of a deal, right? You're like, oh, I'll grab it and twist it. Until, I'm telling you, you get, you get bit one time. And for, that, dude, that happened, that was three trapping seasons ago. <laughs> and I am, like, I have PTSD like you wouldn't believe, buddy. Yeah, I feel like it'd almost be better if like you did just like stick your hand in so, so you, you get knew the that it, the like, thing oh, is, I don't think okay. your, I, I don't think it's, your hand is that bad. It's your fingertip, it's, dude. Yeah, it's, your fingertip. Oh, oh, like, oh, get out of it. Look at the just, line. Yeah, he got, you just got oh, smoked. Oh, it's still messed? Yeah, How got, long ago did that that's happen? That's been 
three weeks. Oh, yeah. God. Dude, my fingernails still don't feel the same. Really? Like, it still hurt. It still hurts. Like you push on it? So you push on it, still hurts. I'm not doing very good at selling it. Traps don't hurt. No, they, <laughs> they, hurt, they hurt your fingertip. Clearly not your hand, because you, you just... just punch it. If you, if you put your whole hand in there, it's not bad. But I got mine with a fingertip and that. Because when, you, when you're, when you like, setting it and you want to let go, it's your instinct to, like, you know, do yeah, this. Yeah, and yeah. what's left? Your dangling little fingers, which is what happened to me. So it's like, if you're going to get bit, it's better to get bit. Anyways, sorry. Going back. Back to the show here. <laughs> yeah, cool. All right, so, so you got la latex. Mm -hmm. Seeing him just laying that over there, that just freaks, that you freaks out. me out. Yeah. <laughs> so that's your pan cover that will keep the sand from going under the pan. Because if there's something under the pan, then the pan can't decompress and go off. Right. Okay. Sound like you know what you're doing. I I've done it. <laughs> I just don't like it, but I've done it. I've been there and done it. I'm gonna go grab my sifter. Yeah, you got it. Go ahead. That thing with the holes in it. It looks like you're uh, looking for gold or whatever. So, so then you're gonna fill up the whole, around it. Yeah, because I didn't get my trap down as far as I wanted to. Okay. I'll do better on that. And you want to be, make sure when you're doing this, because they're going to be brave enough to do it, you got to seat your trap, meaning you got to bed it down. It's solid. So it doesn't move. I got a solid. I just, it, it's sticking up higher than I so want. So if, if if they step on one of the ears or the, the side of it, not the pan, and it moves, they'll freak out and they'll back out of it. So we, uh, now you're looking for gold. Okay. What are you thinking? It's kind of worthless. Look how the size of the yeah, holes. Yeah, those are pretty those big, are pretty big holes. Yeah. <laughs> it helps spread it. So we're, we're not going to catch a coyote here, more than likely. Why is unless that? Unless he's a stupid coyote. Normally, with a with something above. Oh, the, oh, the, oh, I see why. See, I, and then you do one of them numbers, and that... That's what got me last time, like this. Oh, God. Oh. That one video I Eesh. said, what would Flair do? Oh, yeah, 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 I saw that video. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would stop trapping, which is basically what I did. Cry, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> All right, so that's what you got yeah. going there. Normal dirt, you wouldn't do this. Yep. Oh, like we wow. It's like we were never here. That is crazy. Yeah, because normal dirt, you can't this. do that. I don't like leaving this if I was coyote trapping. Yeah, and you're not supposed to do what we're doing, which is kneeling and doing other things. But really, you don't want to get your scent there, but we're, we're kind of... We're doing that, so <laughs> we, are we are. We're doing it pretty good. I'll be honest. We're leaving our scent pretty solid, but that's all right. So now we've got the... That's bait. Yeah. Yummy. Should be getting a whiff of it any second now. <laughs> Surprisingly, I didn't get it. I have COVID or what? Is that what it's supposed to smell like? Black licorice? Because I smell that. This one you'll smell. See how I had to use wax? Oh, to seal it. It. oh God. Oh! 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 oh. Kill to get that out of there. That's straight up out of my skunk's ass. <laughs> it smells like <laughs> it. Oh! That's oh God! It's been getting confiscated at post offices. Really? Do, do they think it's they think it's crundy or what? I think yeah. Is that what they think? No, they're like this is the good <laughs> this is the good stuff and they rip it open. <laughs> they think that's the good stuff. They I don't search know. it and then they put uh, sheep wool. Sheep? Oh, I got plenty of that. Should be saving. I have plenty. You want some? I have, yeah, I have like tons. I've got trash bags of it. If you buy that at the store, oh, it's clean. Oh, really? Trap stores is clean. You, I can, you can smell that that came from someone's farm. Oh, it smells yeah. like a farm animal, Makes yeah. Sense. So there, you stick that in there. So then that, they've got some scent and some, and some visual. So they think maybe something's under there with the bait, with the lure. Deep and then what about what about the, the lure? I've seen you set the lure out before. Did you stick the lure in the hole on that Lures one? in the hole. Okay. What's that guy? That would be I bobcat see. urine. I gave you some of this. Too. Real bobcat urine. Okay. It's, uh, normally I don't use urine, but we got cats and dogs like them too. So. Okay, so we got coy or bobcat urine, and we've got lure and bait and wool, and then on top of that, this is why trapping takes forever because this is one, and you we've been you here pretty like 30 minutes. yeah, it takes <laughs> yeah. a long time to. T I mean, trapping takes faster. We're, we're also if I wasn't, we're messing around, we but filming, uh, yeah. but it still takes. <laughs> telling you snares i think in the same amount of time we've got this one we set like seven like snares 45 minutes to do like all that but oh time. easily you yeah almost easily. can't even tell that trap's there no i wouldn't know where it's at like that's pretty pretty good at disguising so okay. we got some fishing line we know okay. that cat walks through here so yep. we know he'll walk back through and this is an extra lure else. attractant of some sort which is a flashy cd disc best thing would be a snow goose feather wing but we can't use that here turkey wing feather or like a chicken but we can't there's certain states you can use animal yeah. openly some states you can some states you can't so in this case we are using a cd so we're putting this to the back of our hole so that way if he's coming from that way he has to walk all the way to the hole to see it got it so then once he gets in the area then he should start smelling right or do, is, are they are you say cats are more smell or sight or he'll see that hole there. he'll see it so that's like a long distance 
I mean, he could be down in yonder and he'll see that flashing, whether it's nighttime or whatever, and then he'll come over and then he'll see the hole and smell it and do and you know get caught in the trap, I guess. So it's hitting him with like the one, two, three, four, five, six punch. You know what I'm saying? So what what is that music or of? Uh, That's a DVD. DVD that I won't watch anymore. It's uh, what is it called? <laughs> K- Killer Killer Elite. What's that? See, what's that movie that about? Just- Flashes, when we drive away, you'll see. Look at you can see, you yeah, can, you can see. see it on the ground. Yeah. Oh yeah, the moonlight will hit that. Is that a good movie or no? No, <laughs> no, not really. That's why we're using it All right, this. there's your set. Bobcat set complete. Trap in, bait, lure, wool in the hole, and a shiny DVD that's glistening in the sun. So we're all done here. See you at the next spot. <laughs> All right. Well, gosh, darn, it's bright out in here. So we're, we left the timber. That's where we just were uh, back in. That's where like all the big bucks hang out. That's where the old freak was. Now this is, uh, there's a hole in the fence. I'm trying to, I'm going to try not to get super close. Um, I don't want to like disturb the area, but I mean, it's just, it's pretty much Coyote City right in this little area. And you can see they're coming through right through the fence, right under that. Uh, we, we ended up boogering up that fence. I think uh, when we were taking the fence out, we got it boogered up with the, bush hog that was on the skid loader and it ripped out some wires which is fine it's not a big deal um it actually makes good trapping so you're gonna set a snare right there that goes under so you can see they kind of they cross and there's a cornfield out there and raccoons do the same thing and whatnot so i think there's one here and there might be another one a little further up uh, but anytime you got holes in the fence that's why the snow helps so much it's a game changer especially when you're just on the snare grind uh if you're able to, to snare around fences fence lines and stuff like that this is probably your easiest type of trap plus you just drive down your your road right here i mean look how many look at the tracks all those all those are coyotes, so they're they're thick in here. I don't know if anything's up in there. I've never really walked up there before, but for now we're gonna make it easy. That was probably the some of the harder sets that we're gonna do today, as far as walking through the woods, huffing it, and uh, getting through it. But now it's pretty much just jump out of the mule, throw in where we see a track where we think it's gonna be good, and just kind of work our way across the entire property and get. It's a numbers game when you're trapping. That's the one thing I figure. It's a numbers and a time thing. Sit out as many as you can and keep them out as long as you possibly can. And that is the two things, in my opinion, that make will hopefully make you a successful trapper. And my experience when you go set out six and then pull them the next day odds that you're going to get anything are very slim but when i've ever left them out for like a week it's just a lot of work because you got to check them every single day but if you put in the time and energy and effort it seems to be rewarding a week would be my absolute minimum week minimum see that's see, that's saying a lot because i'm like a, i'm like a three day i'm like a three day minimum yeah. so a week so if you're going to be serious about it give it at least a week um but yeah that's whenever i've caught my coyotes it's been at least probably day three into into kind of setting them all up but I think a place like this, numbers game, I think we've got some pretty good chance of getting some tomorrow. Yeah. But Yeah, and it does depend on how your many coyotes you got on the property. Also true. A place like this, I would imagine. Where I trap, I'll probably have a good coyotes chance. go on multiple properties. Yeah, true. This is your duck area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got it. All right. We're hanging that one up. Looks good. Just wait. Easy peasy. So there you go. Let's go look for the next one. next spot similar very similar and i'm trying to keep this boring it's more just supposed to be informative and letting you guys know kind of what we're doing how we're doing it why we're doing it the thought process case guys we're gonna go out there and trap and understand kind of what, what we're doing uh but this is another one very similar to the last one so like i said i'm not gonna bore you with the, the whole snare thing you understand that but boom that's what we're after coyote and you can see he is going right under this gate right here by the road so super easy pinch point looks like they're only going in on one area it's already blocked off there we got a stick there you can always add more sticks like that to funnel them in there but essentially gonna set up another snare on this gate and keep on moving Shoo! all right that snare got set again nothing out of the norm that you guys haven't already seen but now we're at the desert plot and uh man the coyotes are just thick in here look at i mean see all them friends all of them are coyotes. I haven't seen any deer. I'm sure there's some of them are deer, but I haven't seen any. We drove down here uh, to get to the other side. Now we're going back. But that blind, that, that might be the only blind I didn't sit out of this year. That's sick. I just realized that. Never once, never even attempted. The old desert plot. Honestly, it'd probably be pretty good right now, too, as everything's kind of cruising. But anyways, that's where we're at, desert plot. This little mound of uh, brush and dirt and something, I'm not really sure. But you're thinking dirt hole set here would be good for coyotes or bobcats? Both. Both. Okay. Through, but I'm mostly going to target this. The coyote that's literally walking right here. Mm-hmm. So, all right, well, let's go ahead and get a, a trap in the ground. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
It's like a, it's like felt, looks like felt, like cotton. I don't even know what yeah, it is, but. I found it in the uh, craft section. Really? I think it does look kind of like a wing. Well, we got another one set. So that last one was over there. This one was here with the flag, boom, bop, beep. So if you guys saw on social media, I don't know where I posted, maybe it was just on Uncut. If you guys aren't on there, then you're missing out. But a, a Bobcat was carrying a squirrel. Got it on video and it was on that camera right there. And so we set two traps basically along. This is the desert plot. So desert plot, check. On to the next. Shoo! All right, next spot, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, you want to try? You want to show them the sand? We got. We got to show you. We got to show you what the sand will do. You got. You. You want to try that? Mm -hmm. All right. So, what do we need? Sand, clearly, and water. Uh, water. Okay. What are we thinking here? So this is what happens when you have wax sand. This is what happens when water gets on it. Is that not the craziest thing you ever darn did see? I wish I had some regular sand so you could see it. It would just shoot straight through. That is cr I didn't think it would like bubble up quite like that. You just like yep, pour and it then, off. And then it goes. What? Yeah. This is crazy. That's why you uh that's why you put that on your trap. So if it rains or snows, it doesn't it doesn't soak in and then freeze the trap up. Alright, well we are at the next spot. And this is an intersection area. If you guys are uh, are are you OGs? If you guys are OG, and I, when I say OG, I mean OG, meaning I think it was like the day I got the ranch, that video. There used to be a green feeder, like a it was on like a wooden post green feeder. It was the only feeder we had out here. Bam, that's where it was. And then I had a trail camera on that post that's like OG if you guys remember that we used to get a bunch of deers like a gravity fed one was green it was a little small one um and then the owners took it because I guess it was theirs but they, I mean look at the shoo 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 is a four-way intersection like, they should put a freaking stoplight here there's so much traffic they did a lot look at all this mating or something excuse wrong. me what happened here yeah, what'd you find it is. they are in season yeah they, they did they, they wrestled something <laughs> they, they wrestled they had a bot <laughs> WWE <laughs> Smackdown fight I guess but that's the boomerang plot and over here is the west plot I guess well, we never really named that one but we we shot how many did we shoot we shot well the, the boomerang banjo shot my brother shot my dad shot I shot actually and then oh it was the uncut subscriber Austin he hunted out of that and shot a deer so that's like the west plot it's just like a square plot and then the boomerang plots over there just so you guys know where we're at we're on like the high ridge this is like literally the center I wouldn't say the center of the well, it's pretty much center of the property pretty much in the center right down the center here but you can see the four-way intersection here and it's it's I mean, there's deer, but I mean, it is mostly coyotes. So, like, this is crazy. Um, so, we'll definitely put some traps out here. And you're thinking just some, some footholds? Yeah, unless we can find some more. It's too, yeah, it's too bare for, bare for snares. So, a couple footholds here, and we should be good to go. Stay tuned. Folks, what's the next day? How are you feeling about it? Well, we, think, got, we, we, got, we got at least one. We got at least one. Uh, one of my neighbors uh, went ahead and took it upon himself to shoot one that we trapped, I guess, so we don't get the enjoyment of that. But he said that he, he texted me this morning and said, Hey, I shot a coyote on your fence line, uh, hoping it was you that set the trap. I was like, Yeah, it was me. So we got at least one. Spoiler alert, we got one. We're not headed to that spot first. We're gonna walk, go down this trail, which is headed straight down to the pond. Oh, I see the, the pie tin. That's, is that the first one? And then yeah, well, we, got we got one right here too, which I don't see anything on that one. Checking traps is much easier than setting them because you just have to you just have to check. Nothing on that guy. Nothing there. Nothing there. And the pie tin strat. Doesn't see anything there either. Nope. We're hoping for old Bob Caddy. Meow. Nothing there. Was that the only two we set down here? That's it. We're going back this way now? Yep. Okay, well, there you have it, folks. We tracked two of them, 0 for 2. Like I said, spoiler alert, I know we got one coyote, which is good. Hopefully we got more. I'm hoping for a bobcat, too. Um, so we'll see. We'll see what we get. 
Uh, at least we got we got one of these critters out. I will say on the trail cameras, I did see quite a bit of coyotes last night. Um, none of them in the traps. We didn't set too many with the trail camera on the trap itself, but there were coyotes moving last night. I saw, actually I saw one this morning. Actually up by the the old dozer where we set those couple snares, there was one out, there was out by the that blind that's still standing out there. There was a coyote running around there at like 5 a.m. this morning. So maybe, maybe he took a jog through the weeds and we got them all snared up. So anyways, two down, nothing there. We're gonna head all the way up north and go through the gate and start checking the trap lights. So stay tuned. All right, well, we're through. We just checked two more snares, nothing. This is the foothold intersection. We set two of them. Can't quite see anything yet. Did we set? Yeah, we set some over there. I'll check that. Yeah, we got one and one, and then that was the grass patch. Not seeing anything yet. But I think you're right. This is one of those spots, like, if these traps are here for a week, they're definitely going to catch. It's just going to take some time for our scent to kind of get out of the area here. But nothing on this one. That, nothing there, and nothing there. Nada. Nada. All right, we'll go check down there. I did see a coyote last night, kind of in that area. Uh, but this is part of it. It's one of these things. Like I almost promised you, you're gonna have to watch on your channel, right? You're gonna you're gonna show them the cat. We are gonna catch one right here at the intersection. It's gonna happen. You can almost guarantee it. It's such a high traveled area. It's just gonna take some time for our scent to kind of get out of the area and for them to get curious enough. But it's gonna happen. So we got. Was there two? Two footholds out yeah, one here. That little circle one, one in the grass, and that was it. Yeah, just one. So. We had one over here. Let's see what we got. like to uh, check traps and not get them. Hopefully, I'm guessing, what's your guess on this coyote? Which coyote snare do you think it was? I think it's the uh, other one, not the gate. The, the whole one, the one with the hole in the fence? Yeah. So I'm guessing the one with the gate, which is straight in front of us. Trap Jay's guessing the one further to the west, which had a hole in the fence. So, you guys stay tuned. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. We got ourselves a coyote, sheesh. Let's freaking go, buddy. On the old gate set. Oh God, he's bloody, yep. Yeah. Oh, he's just a little fella. Is he small or is that normal? That's about right. Am I used to the size of Millie? Is yeah, that the problem here? Yeah. All right, well, we got one down, baby. This is the one like some of my neighbor shot. Ooh, we definitely can't show you guys on YouTube this. Ooh, does he have mange? Is that why his tail's like that or no? Yeah, he's real thin too. So I can show you this. When it looks like that, that means he's got mange, which I've seen, I would say half the coyotes I see on camera have that tail. Yeah, there's too many coyotes here. That's what it is, there's too many of them? Yeah. Really? Yeah, I can't show you a ton of them, but I mean, I guess I could black and white it. There's a coyote right there. Caught him sneaking under that. Anyways, we got one coyote down, one less coyote. But you said they, they get mange because there's too many. So what, how does that work? Like, just, what is mange? Is it like a disease? It's like, uh, kind of like a lice type of thing. Oh, really? And it's just because there's too many and of it, them. It causes them to scratch and they scratch their fur. Oh, and they just, oh, okay. Up, whatever. Yeah, I would say I would say there's a pretty good amount of coyotes. So about half of them I see on camera have a tail that looks like either, I've seen them all stripped out completely or it's got like a little piece of it. But anyways, one coyote down, baby. Let's freaking go. We got quite a few more traps to check, so stay tuned. Shoo! All righty, well, we are, uh, we're at the CD strat, or the, the DVD. I don't see anything on this guy. I'm trying to think, most of the snares I think we just set over there. We're pretty much, I think we're about done checking traps. Yeah, this one, the snow melted. So you see all the sand now. You can see what that set looks like. But we had a camera there and I did not see any predators uh, around it. You said, look at that little CD, or DVD. See, DVD, same thing. Look at that thing doing its thing. It's just getting it. So that one, not much. Let's see, did we set? Besides the snares in the ditch, we didn't set any footholds, did we? All right, we're coming up to the spot we set. We just checked the one, so I think we got six. And that, wasn't that what it was? I don't see any on the top one. See anything dancing? Or, or dead, for that matter. Seems like something came down that trail when you have one on. Oh, rip! The one trail we didn't set. Don't you like how that works? So nothing on that one. And then we checked the one up the creek already, nothing there. This one, nothing. And then we had one there, nothing. See, I saw, oh, I guess it was the next creek over I saw a coyote. 
but nothing. Blank on blank on it. Rip, what the heck, coyotes? Where'd you guys travel yesterday? Yeah, that snare's still there. That one's still there. That one looks like it's still there. That one looks like it's still there. And then he went down, you're, you're thinking he walked down. Deer. What's that? It was deer. Oh, it was, oh, okay, I makes you feel a little bit better. Nothing? I don't see anything. Brit. well, we got one. I mean, better than nothing, but that's a lot of traps to set out and only get one. But if you get one every single day, you know, as you keep resetting, maybe set out a couple more, kind of a progressive thing over the next five to seven days or so, we'll definitely get some more. Obviously, the coyotes weren't traveling. I mean, we got every single little ravine and cut, and I mean, they, they're they gonna get caught here. One of them, somehow, they're gonna get caught here one of these days, but last night was not that day. Shoot! Well, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. We checked all the traps. We got one lucky mangy coyote. We're not eating it today, I know. I've said the coyote's the only thing I haven't eaten. Would you eat a coyote trapper, Jay? You, we, uh, not a mangy one, though, right? They really don't look bad when you're skinning them. Yeah. Then it just stinks. So they smell. And just ma If he wasn't mangy, I'd think about it, but I just feel like just eat. Just kind of gross. It's like. It's one of the things I know I gotta do at some point. I got Banjo's gotta be here though, because he don't wanna do it. That's like the one thing he doesn't want to eat. So you definitely gotta get Banjo to eat one. But one coyote down is better than no coyotes down. Trapper J is gonna continue the series trapping at the ranch. So you can find that on his channel, Trapper J. He's gonna be doing daily vlogs. Are we doing daily or is it can I not is that Pretty much. Pretty much daily. So you want to see daily updates on what gets caught, including bobcats, including coyotes, raccoons, possum, the whole nine here at the ranch. And how long do you, if you were to guess, how long do you think you're going to be trapping this place? All of January. So if you, if you I want them all dead. All of them need to die. Uh, so if you want to stay tuned and, and check out the ranch, because I'm not going to be filming out here a ton, but he will be, it'll be over on his channel. And he's going to, like I said, he's been daily vlogging, trapping at the ranch and hopefully getting the predators under control so we can have thriving turkeys quail, pheasants, deer, all that good stuff. So hopefully you guys enjoyed today's trapping episode. We will catch you on the next one. Peace.